so he got a text from his dad, he said, that showed that told him how bad it looked when he said he wasn't taking any of the blame or apologizing to the defense or anything for his performance. Then he goes and apologized to the team. Now I'm looking at that tweet, and there's Jets fans crushing him for needing a text from his daddy <laughs> in order to realize that wasn't the right thing to say in the press conference. I, I guess my question is now, not just with this team, Armando, but this is a different time than... 25, 30, 40 years ago where Terry Bradshaw could get benched in Pittsburgh and then come back later and still be the guy in Pittsburgh. It feels different today when you've got that high of a draft pick that gets benched at any point after being the starter. Can he come back from this with the Jets? Or if this is going to happen for Zach Wilson now, is it going to have to take place somewhere else? This is the reason that it's different than it was back in the day, Chad. Back in the day, uh, Chuck Knoll could bench Terry Bradshaw and play whoever he played. Joe, Joe Gillum. Gillum yeah. Terry Hanratty, whoever it was. And if he decided that he wanted to put Bradshaw back, he would tell Bradshaw, you're back. He would tell Hanratty, you're benched. And he would tell the team, Bradshaw is our guy, and everybody would go, okay. <laughs> Today, the coach says, everything's fine. My guy is back, and the players have opinions, and they have their own thoughts, and they're, and they're in their own feelings. And unless the coach can really, really explain to them the, the why, then they're not buying because they – they think they're smarter. And in some respects, they are. 